Hey, it's Ed here. Thank you for watching CXO Box season finale. So season two, episode nine, what's my final cost or what's the real cost? And it's kind of a funny scenario, but you would be surprised how often it happens. And it's caught sometimes in a summary meeting, like the fictitious one we just went through. Sometimes it's done during the contracting price, price negotiations, those sort of things. But it's always the surprise, you know, because during the sales cycle, it's like, oh, yeah, we do all those integrations. Oh, yeah, we do. We'll help you with everything. Oh, yeah, you, you working on LLM. Yeah, we'll help you with that. Oh, you, you need support. Oh, yeah, we're always there 24-7, you know. So the customer, the prospect is left with the impression that all these services, all these opportunities for support are built into the price. And when it becomes a surprise that it's not, which is oftentimes the case, it could lead to loss of business for that contract. So you don't even get that business. Or if you get the business, it'll be remembered forever. So remember that CXO is going to move on to another organization, or at some point your system is going to come up re-evaluation re and it'll bite you in the long term, right? That's that's part of the challenge here, right? Oftentimes we're just very short-term minded and not thinking sort of the, the long-term game. So it's going to lead to distrust. So let's say, say you still get the deal, right? Because it's so far gone. There's no way to back out of it now. It's going to lose, lead to mistrust, lack of credibility, and you're putting the CXO in a really bad spot. So let's just take the interface integrations example. So we're like, oh yeah, this we're going to get the system and it integrates with everything. And you know, I just need all this money. Please give it to me. And we're good. So yeah, you go to the board, you get the money, everyone thinks we're good. And then you start getting into it and you're like, okay, you go back to this vendor and you're like, okay, I need these 20 integrations. And they're like, oh, well, you only get five. So you need an additional 15. That's going to be $500,000. Then you are putting the CXO into the position that they've got to go back and say, well, I was wrong. I made a mistake. So ultimately, it's going to look bad for you. And again, you're going to lose long-term credibility, trustworthiness, and you will not become a partner, which is, you know, should be the ultimate goal. So a couple of recommendations. One is ideally price yourself to be all inclusive. There is a very, very successful vendor that's pretty much all inclusive. And I knew, yes, we paid big bucks to this particular vendor, but I knew at any time I could get on the phone and I did many times. And that company is going to help me and there's no additional costs. And I remember being in a couple of times over the years, you know, in, in a hard spot where maybe our finances were crumbling or our, our systems were crumbling and I'm like, you got to come out and help me now. And they were like, Ed, what time is it? We will be there first thing in the morning. And they just came out. There was no bill. I've had other vendors where you call and ask for help. And the, one of the first things is, is there a PO number we can charge this to? I mean, man, because I was in dire straits, I get, we came up with a PO number, but man, did we not want to do business with them ever again? And then you go from place to place, right? CXOs move around and they're going to remember you, the account exec, and you move around or, and they're going to remember you, the company, the product service, and they're not going to want to do business with you again. Now, many vendors aspire to become partners, which is absolutely a great goal. And so one way you do in that is by being a partner. So when someone calls you in dire straits, like I need some help, you don't ask for a PO number ever. You don't ever charge it. You go and help them and get stuff done. That, that's what creates a, a partnership. So one, do the all-inclusive pricing. Now, if you can't, so I, I get it. Not everyone, for some reason, is going to be able to do this. Be very, very, very clear on the whole pricing and don't make it confusing because that's the other thing. All right, so you can be more upfront about it and then give this huge price list with this menu that's so hard to understand. And remember, working with the CXO, They've got their credibility to deal with you and get their understanding. And they don't make it so complex that there's a gotcha. Because you know, oftentimes we would wonder, why would you make it complex? Are you purposely trying to plant in a gotcha? I'm telling you, that's the way the CXOs think about vendors that do that, where you have this very complex system. And it's like, you really don't know how much it's going to cost you. It, it's just crazy to do business like that. So be all inclusive. If you can't, then be really clear and simple about the different escalators in terms of your cost. But all that said, if you want to truly become a partner, just help, just do things for your
prospect for your customer. And that'll lead to lifelong bond between you. And again, you're going to move on, work for another product company. CXO is going to move on, work for another hospital health system. You will connect again somewhere along the way. So think long-term. I know it's really hard because I've been there. I've been a CEO of a for-profit company. I understand monthly results, quarterly reports, annual reports. I, I get all that. And I've been a CXO and I for providers and I understand that. And now as a board member, I sort of have this 360 view. It's 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 something that everyone takes a look at and is under a tremendous amount of pressure. But I think simply, if we can be super clear, super straightforward, have those conversations up front, everyone wins. And so that's really the point of this particular CXO Bach. Thanks for watching the bonus edition. Hey, if you find these videos helpful at all and are interested in working together, you can go to my website, marksadvisory.com, see a little bit about my services, and there's no nickel and dime. <laughs> so it's actually all-inclusive price. And let's connect.